Now, let's talk about the third law of exponent, which is the power law or the power rule. Now, what is this power rule? The power rule states that we can simplify a power of a power by multiplying the exponents and leaving the base. Now, if we have here a raised to m raised to n, Okay, applying the rule, we are just going to leave the base. So, you will have your a and then you are going to multiply the exponents. So, you have m times n. Okay, since they are letters, then our final answer is this. Okay, now how about if we have this one? a raised to 4 raised to 5. So, we leave the base a and then 4 times a 5. Oh, now, what is 4 times 5? So, since they are both numbers, then we can multiply. 4 times 5 is 20. So, A raised to 20. And that's it. That's the answer. Now, what if we have this one? 3 raised to 2 raised to 3. As you can see here, the base is not a letter. ha. Huh? So, we are going to evaluate this later. So, we have here 3 raised to 2 raised to 3. 3, leave the base, multiply the, expo the exponents, 2 times 3. Now, 2 times 3 is 6. So, you will have your 3 raised to 6. But we can simplify this. We all know that uh, the exponents tells you, or the exponent tells you how many times you are going to multiply the base by itself. So, since your exponent here is 6, you are going to multiply it 6 times. So, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 3 times 3, you have 9 times 3, you have 27, times 3, you have 81, 81 times 3 is 243, times 3, you will, you will have 729. So, your answer here is 729. Okay? Now, for number 3, we have here x raised to 5, y raised to 3, and then both of these are raised to 7. Okay? Since you have two variables, you have to distribute this power to both exponents. So, you are going to multiply 7 to both uh, 5 and 3. So, you will have your x raised to 5 times a 7 and then y raised to 3. So, 3 times a 7. Oh, let's have this one. 5 times 7, you will have, correct, 35. And then, 3 times 7, you have 21. So, y raised to 21. So, your final answer will be x raised to 35 and y raised to 21. Now, we are going to apply this 1, 2, 3 to this number 4, okay? Because we have both number and letters, okay? So, since we have your 2 squared, x raised to 6, and then y, you have to distribute 4. So, the exponents should be multiplied with 4, all of the exponents, okay? So, since that is the case, you will have your 2 raised to 2 times a 4, okay? x raised to 6 times a 4, and then y, since you don't have any exponent here, it is understood that the exponent is what? Correct, 1. So, 1 times a 4. Okay. So, you will have now 2 raised to what? 2 times 4, you have 8. And then 6 times 4, you will have 24. So, x raised to 24. And then, leave the base y. 1 times 4 is a 4. Now, since you have 2 raised to 8 here, you still have 2 Simplify this. Oh, how many times are you going to multiply 2 to itself? 8 times. So, let's do it. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, another 2, 8. So, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is... 16 times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64, times 2 is 128, times 2 is 256. So, it means 
our final answer will be 256x raised to 24, y raised to 4. Okay? Now, it's your turn. Attach a picture of your solution on the comment section, ha? I'll be waiting for your answers. We have your 5 squared, a raised to 7, y, and all of this is raised to 3. Okay? I want to have your, uh, please have your solution and comment it to our comment section. And please uh, follow our Facebook page, Love Mat TV, and our YouTube channel, Love Mat TV. Please like and share this video. Bye!